Once again, welcome back to the Federal Bureau of Control, this time for part four. Now, with the lockdown down, the lockdown down, yeah, I, I think I can pretty much go anywhere using the sector elevator, so I should go down to the research sector. But I should go down to the maintenance sector before that to deal with the little issue that they seem to be having. But before any of that, I've actually got four ability points to spend, so let's do that now. So I think I actually want to focus on more launch damage, so another 50%, please. Now I've got two more to spend. I could get another 50? Grenades and rockets, I could launch them back at the enemy, that's pretty good. Melee damage, don't really use melee too much. Energy would be nice. Maybe I should hold the points back and get more energy. Or more health. Or maybe I should just get more launch damage. Yeah, can't help myself. <laughs> launch five, I guess, right? That's just another three, that's 75%. Wow. Wow, really? Okay, cool, cool. Um, alright. So, yes, now I want to go down to the NSC energy converters. So, wait, no, no, no! <laughs> Not using the elevator, though. Why would I do that when I can fast travel? There you go. Yeah, just outside the room. Perfect. So this isn't an essential mission or anything like that. I think this is optional. Perhaps this is just going to happen occasionally. These will just crop up, areas will be in danger, and you'll be asked to go down there to sort some problems out. And here we are. So it's, it's just up there, isn't it? Certainly seems to be. Of course, I need to try out spin, don't I? Yeah. Where are you? Up there somewhere, I guess. Whoa. What the hell is that? Uh, okay, it's a fast-moving orb. And it didn't come alone. Oh shit, okay. Crap. Okay, not the most accurate thing in the world, so perhaps I should use grip occasionally for those long range shots, but still. We've got another chair, there you go. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, hang on. Your health's going up, isn't it? Yeah, that's what that plus symbol was about. I was wondering. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, maybe I should fight these guys elsewhere. But I, I, I guess I need to keep an eye on them, right? I need to keep on damaging them. There we are. You got any of that health? What's going on over there? Oh, hello. Okay, nope. <laughs> oh, I really do like that evade. Now, can I be cheeky? Yes, I can. I've noticed that my health goes up when I use these control points, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating a little bit with that one. Woo! There you go. Have some more of that. The gun seems extremely, you know, underpowered right now in comparison to my launch damage, so there you go. Some of that. Supervisor. Yeah, I, I can't keep doing this. I need to... I need to find a place where I can keep on damaging him. He's sort of hiding around the stairs at the moment. Right, yeah. There's some real bullshit going on here. Okay, no, this is actually working. Again, just trying to balance the resources correctly. And I did. Okay, there's a, a couple more targets to go, I guess. I guess they're going to be up there in the room. Oh, there you are. Wait. <laughs> I don't like the way you're just kneeling there. Just waiting to fire on me. There we are. Take another one for good measure. Shit. I was trying to thread the needle a little bit there. Right. It worked out for your friend, I suppose, so... There you go. That's it. Something else for you. One more. And then keep you 
down HP wise with some more bullets until our energy goes up, then we do it again. There we go. Oh my goodness. And again. <laughs> Would you please die? Shit. Okay, all right. That was the last one. I eliminated them all, and I got a little bit of a reward. It was some sort of new asset, I think. A couple of them, actually. Astral blip. Okay, I got an echo as well. Goodness. But that's it. The mission's done. Okay. Right, well, before I, uh, I go to the research sector and try and find Marshall, there should be some, you know, materials, health, that sort of stuff. There we go, look at this. What was that thing that I was shooting at up here, though? Did I kill it? I guess I killed it. Huh. <laughs> well, uh, I, I guess we're kind of done here, at least for the time being. I just came down here to ruin more equipment, it feels like. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the elevator. How do I do that? It's probably best that I go back to Central Executive, actually. Because the elevator's right there, then I can choose which floor I want to go to. Okay, right, so the sector elevator. Let's see what I have access to. It should be all of them now, right? Executive, research, maintenance... Containment sector, okay. Well, I'll save that for later. Let's go to research. Let's see if we can find Marshall. And yes, I probably should have accepted some board countermeasures, actually. Now that I think about it, I don't think I've got any of them, have I? Here we are, then. This is research. So, go on. Wow, okay. Um... What's going on to the right there? <laughs> it's a massive, massive area. But then there's a, a lot of complex corridors that looks a little bit like executive to the left. And here we are. Oh, this is actually what I saw in the cutscene, right? Oh. Well, there's Alan Wake. Or at least the guy that voiced him. Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So... This is where the magic happens. <laughs> anyway, I, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, <laughs> and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. <laughs> Thanks for that, darling. Right. Research sector, huh? Yep. Home of the Bureau's mad scientists. Seems like it. Someone's keeping an eye on me. Maybe it's Darling himself. Okay, I guess we're not going to the Ritual Division. Uh, anything back here? To read, not to throw? Right. Uh, well, I don't know. We're going to parapsychology, apparently, which is down. Oh boy. Alright. We'll deal with that in a moment. Oh! They didn't dodge out of the way for once. Oh, bloody hell. God, I love the telekinesis in this game. And ah, I don't like getting hit by rockets, though. Who else wants to try it? You, there we go. Okay, at least these guys aren't healing. Right, I need some of that. Thank you very much. I see a couple of them down there. Oh, did I get him? No, I don't think so. Hit him, but I don't think I got him. Oh, maybe I did now. There's still a few down there. Right, go on then. <laughs> a shelter? Uh, I'll deal with that in a moment, I suppose. 
What is that I'm seeing? I just ran past one. Is it a sextant or something? An award for something? Yeah. <laughs> well, whatever it is, hopefully it wasn't too expensive because I'm damaging it. Ah, missed. Try again. Oh, bloody hell. You're, you're taking aim, you weird sniper or whatever the hell you are. Got some sort of long-range weapon, haven't you? There you are. Shit. <laughs> I wonder, would that actually be a little worse if I if I got the momentum from evading and then threw something? Would it do more damage? Does it work like that? Oh shit. <laughs> I just got rid of my cover. I didn't mean to. There you are. Yeah. Using spin and burst fire is actually pretty good. But, um, just like this. Yeah, they go all over the place. Nice. Oh, we got a junior operative here. He's named. He's going to be difficult. But not too difficult, really. Just need to pick my spots, I suppose. <laughs> His sniper. Oh, actually, maybe, maybe it actually was a sniper. Sort of felt like it. Okay, we're getting astral blips down here. I suppose certain materials are going to be sort of exclusive to certain areas or certain people. Intrusive patterns. Yep. Okay. Let's grab all of that before it disappears. Uh, so, yeah, where was I? <laughs> There's a shelter up here that I want to have a look at. Okay, and then what's that? Well, that's destroyed, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, so the shelter. Okay. Looks like we've got our first document to read. But before that... Mod? Is it a mod? It's, it's an astral blip, okay. And what's this? Emergency call summary, right? A possible AWE in which an unnamed individual experienced transcorporeality via a phone line. Event is notably similar to AWE something in which something. Event is believed to have been caused by, and as a result, the following measures have been taken to prevent... Ah, oh, 1993. Similar to the hotline, maybe? Hmm. Okay. Nice. So that's it. That's all we get. That's all we get from here. Uh, Alright. How high does this go? Or how low does it go? Is that... Oh, that's the ground floor down there. It looks like. So, it's parapsychology. Dr. Darling's office is up there. Dimensional research. Should we take a look? Let's take a look. And, of course, there's all these sort of offshoots off of this, too. So, wow. Dr. Darling's office. Here we go. Looks like it's open. HRAs? Oh! I've been fielding questions recently regarding HRAs. What are they for? Do you always need to wear them? And what's the deal with the Hedron resonance anyway? <laughs> It's not his day, is it? Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. We're not tracking your movements or listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. We do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Think of them as a, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. <laughs> One day that classified, not water, might pour in and you'll be glad you got, a, got an HRA keeping you afloat. Unless, of course, you're the director. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be... Uh, 
Quick and painless. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. We're making more. Wow, okay. Not his usual jovial self. Seems to be at the end of his tether there. Okay, right. What have we got here? Okay, so... A couple of documents. More than a couple of documents, actually. What the hell? Hang on, really? A cradle? <laughs> okay. Sure. Well, I guess let's just sort of start in the corner and, and work towards the other one. What's this? Astral Plane Counter Essay. Okay. Alright, I'll tell you what I'll do, because it seems like there's quite a lot here. I'll give you a brief look at all of them, alright? And I'll go back and have a look at them later on. So there's... There's one here. Resonance Theory, okay. Quite a lot of redacted information, a lot of classified stuff. Budget Request? Mm-hmm, okay. What else have we got? There's one over here. Again, about the astral plane. Okay. What's all this? That was on, like, the whiteboard over there as well, right? Huh. I'm trying to identify how to get to the astral plane or how it exists or... Just looks like an illusion, doesn't it? I guess that's kind of the point. Yeah, stop that. <laughs> uh, okay. Unless, of course, I want to wreck his office. I think that's kind of all I can do around here. So... Is that it? Dimensional research. Oh, go on then. Why? Why did I do that? That's the first time I've actually walked through one of those metal detectors. <laughs> I've managed to, like, climb over them before. They're not going to crush me, right? Just to be sure. Possibly changing labyrinth. Right. You can never pass through. Dimensional research. Yeah, okay. Every measure of security. I can see that. Like, the only fucking bridge over here as well. What the hell? The Ashtray Maze. And it's not really coming up on the map. Looks like something out of Twin Peaks or something. Right, okay, I think I'll be coming back here a little bit later on. I think maybe I'm sort of jumping ahead. I should be going to Parapsychology, which was down the stairs. No more distractions. <laughs> that was a pretty big distraction, though. Yeah, I, I just... <laughs> I don't really trust it. Right. There we are. Nice. I can negate most fall damage, it seems, just by using that evade attack, which is really, really nice. Comes in pretty handy. Ah, oh, they're... Back? Who the hell are you? Okay, it was like a guy sitting in a chair. Different. Having a whole bench out towards you. Can't win, can you? Oh, there's another one. Oh, I see. Ooh, damn. Right to the face. Shit. Yeah, when I really need to use spin, spin doesn't really want to work for me. But now it does. Ah. You get a bin to the face for that. Oh well. More health, I suppose. More materials, right? Health boost. Okay. Let's see then. Parapsychology. Alrighty. Yeah, I know that. Do we just keep on going down? Maybe? No, oh, might as well. There's enemies down there. 
<laughs> oh, not you, you bastards. Is that going to become kind of typical? Regenerating health? Kind of hope not. Although, if they get killed by one throw... I haven't really got too much to complain about. What? What is that thing? Gee, I, I'm too obsessed with this weird orb. Right, there's, yeah, there's loads of health up here. I should be fine. Some bodies down here. Another shelter. Come on, bring it on. Okay, at least that thing doesn't recharge. No one's dodging out of the way of this, surely. Come on. Come on! Uh, did I... No! You did actually dodge out of the way. I'm impressed. Ooh. <laughs> Fucking hell. Is that you? No. Did you see? I, they went underneath the, the guard there. The barrier. The handrail. Whatever you want to call it. That was a really good shot. Sorry I had to kill you. I was impressed. <laughs> Wait, par... Are we okay? I think we're okay. Parapsychology is this way. It next to the barrier? Maybe. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, it does actually seem to be over here. I guess it's on this floor. Did we No. Um not really sure to be honest. Am I? Oh. What about this? Okay, certain parts of this actually can be destroyed. Oh, oh, yeah, I remember now reading about his barriers and how there's a, a couple of ways to get rid of them. Anyway, yes, with my new clearance level, we're in. And it's red. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, what the hell? She's in trouble. I need to reach her. Okay. The parapsychology elevator. This way. Okay. Go on then. There we are. Looks like an astral plane challenge. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, shit. I was hoping you weren't going to notice me. I see you trying to go up there. Oh my god. Throwing things around in this game is just so fulfilling. I can't really explain it. It's like a power fantasy or something. It, it just, it feels good. <laughs> it feels real good. Oh. oh, I think just dragging that one towards me knocked him out. There we are. Ah. Uh, you see, I'm trying to use spin occasionally, just like I tried to use uh, shatter before, but it's not as good as grip, I don't think. Not for me, at least. Right, materials, all that good shit. Ooh, who's that? Some unfortunate test subject in Chamber 4, I suppose. What's going on in Chamber 5? <laughs> Six, seals, oh, lovely. like more hiss. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, let's see. What's your emergency? Hello. Hello, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? I'm, um, inside the wires. I'm lost. Ma'am, have you been drinking tonight? I feel like I'm stretching through the wire towards you. Don't hang up. I might go if you hang up. Go where, ma'am? Go. Gone. Away. Okay, and can you describe your surroundings? Ma'am? Hello? Ma'am? That's actually pretty creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like it should be an SCP entry. Or a Federal Bureau of Control entry, which I guess it is. I like what they've done here. I like how they've constructed this sort of story in the world. This organization is uh, is really good. I don't know if there's actually going to be uh, any sequels to this, but you could create like a, you know, a little game universe around this, really. 
All right, now we've had a look at all of the chambers, I think I can move on. <laughs> I wonder, those crash test dummies, did they used to be crash test dummies? What have we got here? Again, more red, so probably nothing good. Astral Exhibition! The Astral Plane. Similar to an iceberg, what you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the Astral Plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, mm -hmm. the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I was hoping for something a little bit more than that. You were just sort of like setting the scene and then, oh, that's it. Time's up. Anyway, another control point, so great. That means I can fast travel here, right? Nice. Okay. I keep seeing my face on the walls. It's weird. It's creepy. Hold on. Hold on. Am I going to see the kids again? Uh, maybe not. An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place. Not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then, one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. Yeah. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Uh, apart from one shocking exception. Oh. Sorry, I, I can't. I'm watching this. <laughs> in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. If they die, they die. I'm sorry. We have glimpsed movement. Native species, always in the distance, and yet, contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Okay, thanks for that. Right, yeah, again, not exactly the answers I was looking for, but we're getting closer, I suppose. So this is some of the astral plane footage? I guess. Right, what else have we got? Okay, some sort of documentation about it, I guess. Astral exhibition, that's it. Uh, the Astral Exhibition was originally built for the Astral Nauts to use as a training location. A place to grow accustomed to the sights and sound of the Astral Plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but was being stingy with the budget. However, once we discovered the something, we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals, we hope to observe the something's behaviour in an environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put in with it. But Rome wasn't built in a day. Right. Now known as Astral Spike. Astral Spike, okay. Up here then? Alright. Oh, oh. I can't believe they keep that thing. That's the spike? Right, and <laughs> this is supposed to be its home dimension. Yeah, well, I guess you got the pyramid, right? Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, it's just destroying everything. Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe I want to seal myself inside, but something's telling me I actually have to go through. Okay. Right, so this is the thing that I could potentially contact with the hotline, right? Or, 
I don't know, just get away from using the hotline. It goes up there. Right, okay. <laughs> Let me just get the fuck away. I'm pretty sure they can't be killed. Right, okay. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. I think this is actually just sort of cordoned off. Got something back there? Okay, oh shit, here it comes, here it comes. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I think, oh, there's another one. Yeah, I, I did see another box over here. And that's where it goes, okay. Shit, okay, uh, I'm gonna go this way. Let's see which way it's coming in. Maybe it's not coming in. Alright. <laughs> Come in here, yes. Follow me. Probably don't want to hit that button, right? I imagine that's just going to close the door off. And this one, does it do the same thing? Yeah, okay. No, I, I, I want it open. What's this do? Oh. oh. I get it now. I get it. Oh, that closes all of them. Oh my god. Shit! Stay away! I see. I just have to lure it in there and I think just close it in. That's doable. Oi. You've destroyed pretty much everything. Come and destroy me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Come on. Speed! 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 There we are. There. Yes, and that's closed as well. Great. What was the Bureau doing with that thing? Observing it, I suppose. Oh. Oh. Maybe this is our way through then. I was wondering. Parapsychology, that's it. Someone answer, damn it. We need backup down here. Marshall? Marshall, are you still there? Shit. Uh. We're so close. We need to hurry. Yes, we do. Well, this is it, and there's another one of those orbs. They heal other- Oh! Right, so that's the first thing that needs to go whenever I see them. I get it. Oh, terrible aim. Terrible, terrible aim. <laughs> see you trying to hide there. And to be honest, it's working because I can't get the proper shot. There we are. Holy moly. Okay. Oh, that's that's where I couldn't pass through, wasn't it? Yeah, so we've just gone in a big circle. Oh, shit. Fucking hell. Where are... Oh, there you are. Nice. Missed. Oh. Oh, dodged right into that one, actually. Oh, that sucks. Right. Okay, just grabbing some of that lovely, lovely health that I've heard so much about. There's another one of those guys in the chairs. R okay, there's there's two of them, actually. Okay, they, do, they, they go down pretty quick. I guess I should be grateful at that. Oh, come on. that thing just, like, shrieking a little bit? Oh, fucking hell. Probably shouldn't be doing this right now, but... Health boost, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Need to take care of these guys over there. I'm <laughs> just sort of shooting into the, the grey mist. They can't see anything. Oh, shit. Crap, okay. Right, now he... I don't need to deal with. Come on. Ah, oh, just one more headshot. Just give me that one headshot. It's not much to ask, is it? It's a 
fucking coming over to deal with you myself. Right. Okay, and you as well. Ah, damn, I need to I need to time my uh, my dashes, my evades a little better actually. So those rockets, I always imagine are a lot faster than they actually are. Is it safe? Of course it's not, but of course I'm going to read. <laughs> ah, the volunteers securely fastened in the chair, right? They're sort of volunteers for something. There's a hood over their head. Is that right? I didn't notice. Damn. And they were taken over by the hiss during that. Wow. Well, sucks to be you. Right. There's still more around here, right? There we are. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh shit. Oh, oh bloody hell, just went straight into the fucking nest. Shouldn't have done that. There we are. Oh, look at all that health over there. I know where I'm going if I get damaged again. Guys, where are you? <laughs> you really decided to poke your head out at the wrong time. I didn't even see you. Right, what's this? What we got? Something else to read? Again, not the time. Hmm. I wonder. Did you utilize his powers for the greater good? There we are. Okay, there can't be too many people left. Especially if I keep <laughs> throwing benches at them. Oh, hello. Oh, God. What the, oh. what the hell was that? That wasn't a normal grenade, was it? Maybe. But that guy is not a normal guy. Is he one of those uh, troopers? That'd be my best bet. Oh, his shield's gone. Yeah, that might be one of the guys with the Gatling gun, honestly. I'm gonna go up here again. Yeah, it's him. It's definitely him. Yes, he hasn't got a Gatling gun. He's got a, a grenade launcher or something. Yeah. Wasn't there that upgrade to, like, throw that sort of stuff back at them? I wish I got that now. Just clipped him. Whoo! Okay. Are we good? Can I get rid of this now? Can I cleanse the area? Right. Good. And yes, let's rearrange things. <laughs> oh boy. Marshall, are you around here somewhere? The luck department? <laughs> okay. Uh, I suppose that's not the strangest thing I've seen in this building. A captive audience. Investigate the X-ray light box object of power in the hypnosis lab. Okay. Guess I could get on with that. There's no time on this thing though, right? So I can come back and do this later? Okay. This is groupthink. Okay. Right, back to missions. Let's just, uh... Oh, I don't really care about that. Let's go back to the old boys club, because I actually do want to find Marshall. Uh, you know, at least in this video. If I can do that, then uh, I'm sorted. Also, have we got any yet yeah, more astral constructs? I was just wondering about weapon forms! Upgrade grip or construct pierce. I need more source. I need to kill a few more. Uh, Pierce is precise. It's a charged shot that penetrates armor and enemies at any range. 
That might be more useful than uh, than spin. Yeah, okay, so what, just 3,000 more? I could probably do that in this video, right? Parapsychology elevator, yeah? Luck and probabilities on floor two. Oh, oh yeah, okay, that's that's been removed, I see. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on, I'm setting the elevator for you. We need to talk. You got that right. Oh yeah. yeah she might know something about my brother Dylan, right? What? Oh, really? This is a bit harsh, isn't it? There's, like, nowhere to go, either. Shit. Oh, crap. Now that is what you call cheating. <laughs> That's probably something you shouldn't be able to do, but it is. Got me out of a sticky spot, I'll tell you that much. Shit. Well, maybe this is going to give me... Uh, I don't think it's quite enough, is it? No. no. <laughs> I'll come back and get pierced at some point. Just not now. Ah, oh, would you look at that? There's the elevator. Just in time. <laughs> God, that was cheeky, wasn't it? So I'm heading up to luck, am I? Central research. Hello. Marshall is waiting for you in the luck lab, just down the hall. Okay. Luck and probability, rituals, synchronicity, protective studies. All that way. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah, another one of these. So I don't have to take that elevator ride every single time I want to go up and down. Oh. Oh, I guess I could just jump off and then go wherever I want from here. That's a pretty good place. Okay. Marshall? You in here somewhere? Right. There you are. There you are. <laughs> That's what I said. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. Thank you. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Zachariah's dead then, and I assume you found his gun. <laughs> Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Correct. Makes sense. None of this phases her? No. Really? Here's the situation. Joe created the HR. <laughs> that phases me every damn time. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone. Not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. Yeah. She could know about Dylan. <laughs> I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Thank you. Is she testing me? Hmm. Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. Okay. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. What did you just give me? Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Right. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. Okay. All right. So let's see. Before I leave, anything in... Oh, it's a <laughs> There's a horseshoe. What's that? Oh, a four-leaf clover? <laughs> Probably not meant to steal them, but... Oh, I can put it back. Now, you know what? It might help me out, to be honest. Now, oh, these are all the people that have been injured. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> what can I do with you? Nice. This could all help. It might not, though. Alright, let's go get some more of that source material, shall we? So I can get Pierce. Oh, god damn. You've got to die immediately. Oh, shit. Did I get him? I think I got him. Shit. I 
see rangers over there. We'll have to help them. Oh, there we go. There we are. Everyone's health apparently regenerates these days. If I could perhaps get the same kind of thing, that'd be nice. Is it done? Okay, it's done. Yeah, maybe there's a mod for it. Shit. Come on. Okay, at least I've got some help down here by the looks of it. Maybe... Oh, God. Yeah, not much, but... Every little helps. Oh, two in one. I love it when that happens. Oh, I th maybe there was a bit of friendly fire there. <laughs> if so, apologies. <laughs> Imagine, like, being in the trenches with this woman, you know? Like, uh, fighting alongside her and then just having to dodge everything that she throws. Unbelievable. No! Oh, there we go. Nice melee. We've got more of those guys now, or the exploding ones. They seem nice and easy until they explode on you, and then all of a sudden, you're dead. There you go. Right. Well, that, okay, there's the point. Okay, let's claim it. Claiming it? Oh. oh. Oh god. Oh god. What is this? Parakini. Okay. Parakinesiology Chief Lewis, I think? That's a, some sort of boss, I guess. Whoa. Okay. He can throw stuff. I guess that makes sense. But I can throw stuff too. I can throw a lot of stuff. Have some more. Oh. Yeah. He's definitely doing that. His shield recharges so quickly! That is some number one bullshit. Right. It's actually like his shield is the stuff that he's picking up. How are we doing? Pretty good? Yeah? Pretty good. Where are you? Well, it's, I was going to say it's almost impenetrable, but it's quite clearly not. Oh, god damn. Holy shit. There's the health. I need the health. <laughs> this game is actually quite a challenge. It's like, it's the right sort of difficulty for me at the moment. Like, it... I can just sort of like chill out and mindlessly go through it, but there are some points where I do really have to pay attention. This is one of those moments, and there you go, 1400 there. I've got more than enough for the uh, pierce. Shit. Hiss warps, okay, there's quite a few different ones, aren't there? of these have we got now? 22 out of 24, 19 out of 24, right. I will have a look at all of them and I'll probably sort them out in between videos, I guess. Right, yeah, can we, can we cleanse this area, please? Right. There we go. That's more like it. I think most importantly, though. No, what, what was that? Was that... Well, I don't know what that was. I think, again, there was some sort of, like, hiss breach that they want me to deal with. Fuck it. Sorry. Not when I'm constructing... Pierce. There you go. I think I actually did pick up something for Pierce as well. Let's see. Uh, so let's replace that with Pierce. Um, Pierce, okay, yeah, 12% zoom. Apparently that's uncommon, that's probably quite a good one. 
Damage against enemy armor. I guess I'll be using this primarily against armor, so let's, yeah, let's do that. Let's see how it works. Cool. So you have to hold it down to charge it. Okay. <laughs> okay, yep. Protective studies, that's where we need to go. But first of all, let's check out the shelter. There's too many distractions. <laughs> but it's okay, I actually kind of want to be distracted in this game. Astral blip, there you go. Okay, what we got here? Threshold Kids Proposal. Let's learn about the Threshold Kids. With the recent arrival of the something, there are certain glaring gaps in the Bureau's ability to educate and raise a young something. There are no other for something to play with, and something is expected to learn about a frightening new concept. Um, blah, 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 will require a slow, <laughs> kid-friendly introduction to paranatural topics, I guess. With this in mind, allow me to introduce The Threshold Kids, a television show in which a cast of cheerful puppets explain the dangers of living at the Bureau, but also show the fun side of the paranatural. Budget would be minimal, and yes, it is minimal. I took a few puppet-making courses at my local community center. We can have research staff build the sets, record the footage, and even do the voices. It'll be good for morale, and I guarantee someone will respond positively to these vi videos. We can't expect a, a... a what? I really want to know what that is, a what, to enjoy lectures and people in lab coats. But as television has proven for years, people love puppets, I guess. Or kids love puppets. Why do I think Dylan may have been one of those names that was redacted there? Like, maybe that's who they're referring to. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's not right, but, uh... Anyway, protective studies! Right, so the lab is... over there, it looks like. Let's at least get to that. And then I'll end the video and probably sort out my inventory, which is getting a little silly now. Okay. More chambers that I guess they're just sort of recording specimens on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Fucking rubber duck. What's this? Altered item number 52 AE analysis session two. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low voltage electric shock. No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. No response. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale from 0 to 14. Right. Any response? No response to any <laughs> Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? Quack, if you can understand my words. <laughs> no response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. See, I want to say you're just talking to a standard rubber duck, but it does seem to have this aura around it, so I think it is some sort of object of power. And to be honest, I want to get in there and get it. Uh, uh can we? It doesn't look like we can. I, I don't think. That's a bit of a shame. Oh well. <laughs> uh, alright. This way to the lab? Yeah, it seems like it. Okay. More of these dummies. You must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. Yeah. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. If we can find him alive. Assuming he's not dead. Right. Or taken over by the hiss. Hang on a moment. I can sort that out. There we are. Out the way. There's got to be something in here, right? Something over the pipes. Oh, yep, there is. There you go. It better be good. It's not, but whatever. <laughs> ah, can I go through there? Maybe I can go through there. 
If I can somehow get the height and dash. Oh! Hmm, okay. I think it's doable. But maybe not right now. I've got a bit of a mission. I can come back later. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually hoping that that is somehow going to lead to the rubber duck. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, hang on. What's this? There we are. Astral blip. Okay. Oh. Uh oh, hang on. Oh, it's using the arrow keys, not W, A, S, and D for once. I just got to rep replicate the pattern, I assume? Okay, did it. <laughs> right, this is his lab? Apparently so. You let me here. Any idea how to make it work? Well, Polaris apparently wants you to have a look at this. Hello again, Director. It appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Yeah. Darwin must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. Right. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? Oh. I'll see what I can do. Is that one of them? Oh, I see. Oh, okay, I meant to collect five, it looks like. Does that go there? Well, let's just hold back, actually, for the for the meantime. So, okay, this is number one. Was that number two? And this... That's three. There's another punch card over there. What is this, four? That's five. And another one, okay. Explain yourself. Black rock prisms. Go on. Black rock prisms are unique formations of black rock, distinct in both their shape and potency. While the density of black rock dampens paranatural forces, the unique something structure of prisms retain frequencies in the range of something to something hertz with perfect harmonization. This report analyzes the results of focusing a something through a harmonized prism onto a something else. Methods for the imprinting of non-physical fields onto something, imbuing them with the properties of the harmonized resonance something in the prism, will be explored and explained. Refer to something for a full report. Okay, that's what that's what that thing is over there. Black rock. Okay. So we need to find all the punch cards. Yes. Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, once I found the five punch cards, I guess. That's the clue. Or well, these are going to be the clues. Right. So there's two and two and three seem to be sorted over there. One and four are sorted. Where's four? That's five, isn't it? Oh. Okay, I think I found four of them. I think there's another one, though. Up here. Uh, could be. Oh, there's, there you go. There you go. Oh, is that is that four? There we go. There's number four, and I think that's the uh, the last punch card too. Have I got them all? Yes. Okay. So let's see. Four. According to this, can we affect this? Okay, it's that one there. This one. Yeah. Okay. So that's in the that's in the machine. That's in the machine. Okay. Um, let's sort out the others using the whiteboards. So, uh, that doesn't look the same down here. Maybe that one's got to be number five. Should correspond to a terminal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. Okay, so that one's number one. So this is number one. So that's where that goes. And then we got two and three. Two and three are over here, but I think they're in the other, the other order. So three should be number two. Which looks like that one. And then this one's the one that looks like a black cube. And then in theory, number five should be this one. We got beeps! Are beeps good? I think beeps are good. What buttons are you pressing there? <laughs> Uh, 
Whoops. The prism shattered. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. It wasn't me then, was it? Okay. Speak with Marshall. Go on then. What's the plan? We need more Black Rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab down in the Black Rock processing site and maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. Oh yeah, I saw the signs I've for that. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now, before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. Really? She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it. Can we do both at the same time? I'm the only one who can help. Fine. <laughs> I'll get the prisms first. <laughs> Surprise! Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. I guess. But don't call me director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Fate. Here, you'll need this key card. Thanks. Emily Pope has set up a base and executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. Yeah, it feels like it's going to be. It's just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. I think that's, that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. Whoa. Is that the processing place? Oh my god. Nice view. What what galaxy would I be looking it, into there? Back to central research. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Through there? Oh, thank you very much. Right. There's still quite a lot that I'd like to do around here, to be honest. There's, like, mention of an object of power and everything like that. Of course, I want to get back down to maintenance. This way? Yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find... <laughs> ...my way right back to the start. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know where to go next, to be perfectly honest with you. Well, I, I... I don't know. I really don't. But I will know by the time I begin part five. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you then. Now I want to go down to the NSC energy converters. So, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> Not using the elevator, though. Up there somewhere, I guess. Whoa. What the hell is that? So, go on. God, oh, I love the telekinesis in this game, and ah, oh, I don't like getting hit by rockets, though. Would it do more damage? Does it work like that? Oh, shit. <laughs> I just got rid of my cover. I didn't mean to. Dimensional research. Oh, go on, then. Why? Why did I do that? Ah, oh, they're back? I haven't really got too much to complain about. What? What is that thing? Is that you? No. Did you see? They went underneath the... Oh, my God. Throwing things around in this game is just so fulfilling. <laughs> oh, come on. I was hoping for something a little bit more than that. You were just sort of like setting the scene and then, oh, that's it. Time's up. Oh. Sorry, I, I can't. I'm watching this. Come on. Ah, oh, just one more headshot. Just give me that one headshot. It's not much to ask, is it? What? Oh, really? There you are. There you are. <laughs> That's what I worry. said. And I assume you found his gun. <laughs> Just call me Jesse. None of this phases her? No. Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRA. That phases me every five. damn time. Are you claiming it? Oh. oh. Oh god. Oh god. What is this? We're just sort of recording specimens on. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. Did it. Number five. 
Should be this one. We got beeps. A beeps good. Fine. <laughs> I'll get the prisms first. <laughs> Surprise! Dylan. Is that the processing place? Oh my god. Nice view. 